The Best Hawaii, presented by American Savings Bank and Hawaiian Telecom. Everybody asks, like, how did you get the name Rainbow Drive? On this episode of The Best Hawaii, a local artist inspired by hip-hop at an early age spends his life's work giving back to the community and encouraging our island keiki. So Ken, I've known you for many, many years. Um, you're doing a mural right now. Right. Tell me the beginning of your muraling and your business that you do this for. Well, I, I started painting in um, 1983. I basically picked up the art form through a magazine and a book called Hip Hop by Stephen Hagar, which led me to this artist named Phase Two, which is um, my mentor till today because I was able to get in touch with him. He's one of the original uh, uh, train painters. He's created all of these letter styles, primarily like that people in the 80s got inspired by. My uh, mother was a fashion designer. So that just connected over. I used to watch her draw mock-ups and things like that. I guess my favorite mural would be um, the one that I did in Molokai that took over a month. And I had 60 youths um, painting with me. And the principal had told me that the most adverse children and youth were really, really inspired to paint. And that's really what excited me yeah. because they were there and they were focused on the wall, they wanted to stay later, and uh, that's when it, I realized that I could use uh, my talents and my gift to like help our community. I have this vision, a worldwide vision that I like to share with the youth and to inspire them to you know, pursue their dreams or at least use art as a vehicle to learn. I just put out my uh, best foot forward and uh, do good work around the community and I try to give back also. It's not just about doing commissions. So through that energy I receive, you know, good energy in return. I have uh, Kumu's helping me, like Kumu Kiala Ching. He'll guide me through the process. He'll, he'll connect whether this plant should be in this mural or uh, this fish or just, just the whole entire um, design of it all. I have my largest mural in uh, Nanakuli at the uh, Food Giant and that one's I think total uh, width is almost the football field long. There's many different ways to use a pen. You could write uh, terrible things or great things and uh, so is the spray can. It's just the medium at this point. It's a worldwide medium accepted by you know corporations and um, companies worldwide and uh, industries and you know there's so many different colors now it's not just one shade of blue there's like 50 shades of blue so it's it's not about myself and um, it's about the community and how I can connect the community to art and uh, you know fortunately for me the the aerosol medium is really really a, a strong interest point with the youth and so a lot of uh, awareness organizations are seeking my, um, you know, my talents to be able to work with them to, like, uh, give the message with creativity. So, what do you want people to take away when they see it? I want to just every, the community to just understand that the art form can be done in a positive way, and that that's my mission as well as reaching the youth. It's it's kind of hand in hand because they connect to it. Awesome. So our Instagram is Keep It Flowing and our website is keepitflowingmedia.com. Well, you're going to show me some tricks? Yeah. What am I going to do? Well, we're going to... I'm a little overdressed. Sorry, I had another thing I have to go to after. Hey, you got to paint in style. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go through uh, the process, the beginning stages of how to develop a coral reef. Okay. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the project that we got for us. That's right perfect now. for me. Cool. Thank you. It's coming out now with the <laughs>
close. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I don't want to mess you up. <laughs>